Okay, so are you okay, everyone? Okay, now for our lesson of today, we are going to look at part three of factorizing polynomials using distributive property. We looked at part one, we looked where we had example number one, part two, we had worked out example number two, and now we are looking at example number three. As we continue to factorize these polynomials, remember one thing. We said that sometimes we need to group the polynomials. And even after grouping them, we may need to use commutative property. When we use commutative property, the purpose is to bring the terms that have common factors closer to each other so that it can be easy for us to factor them. Now, we said that also sometimes we need to change the operation sign to change the operation sign, okay? Now, we are going to be using these three areas to factor these polynomials in our example number three. Okay, let us begin with example number one. We have got ax minus bx plus 2ay minus 2by, okay? This will be ax minus bx plus 2ay minus 2by. Now, let us group them. This is okay, we are going to right away go by grouping them because we can see that these terms that are next to each other, they have common factors. You see, here we have X and for these ones we have uh, two and we also have Y. So it becomes a bit easier for us to do this. So we group this one and this one, okay? Now let's, let us first begin with this group. I think let me use different colors. It will be easier for you to understand. Let me use uh, blue. So 2ay minus 2by as the second group. Now let's begin with the black group. So here in black, we see that the common factor is X. So we write X into A minus B plus. Now for the blue part, we see that the common factor is two and Y, okay? So we write that as, 2y into a minus b, okay? Now, when we reach there, you see that we are having a minus b and a minus b. So that is another common factor. So we say that our final answer will be a minus b, we write it once into the remaining part, x plus 2y, okay? x plus 2y, okay? That is the final answer. Do you see how grouping makes it easier? Let's try number two. 6ax plus 12by plus 9dx, plus 8ay. So we will do like what we did in part one. So let us see, how do we group this? Do we have the terms that have common factors? 
This is six. Six and 12, yes, have common factor, but we have A. We don't have A here and X, no. So we are going to look for, yeah, we can take this one and this one because we have six and nine have common factor and we also have X and X. Mm -hmm. Then this means that this one will go with this one because 12 and eight have got a common factor and we also have Y and Y. So those will be the two groups. Let's group it. We are going to have the black group, which is six AX plus nine BX. Then let's go ahead and have the blue group. So we use color blue, that is plus 12BY plus 8AY. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's factorize the black group. We are having six and nine. What is the greatest common factor of six and nine? The greatest common factor of six and nine, it will be three. So we can go ahead and say, we have got three mm -hmm, for six and nine, but also we have got this X. So we write it as three X, okay, in two. Six divided by three, that is two. And we bring this A. Don't write X again. Plus nine divided by three, we get three. We write this B. Don't write X again because it is already here. Okay, X is already here. Okay. That is finished. We go to blue part. Plus. We are having 12 and 8. What is the greatest common factor of 12 and 8? That will be 4. Yes. So we are going to have 4 as the greatest common factor of 12 and 8. But also, at the same time, we are having y here and y here. So we write it as 4y into 12 divided by 4 is 3, b. Don't write y again because y is here already. Then plus 8 divided by 4, we know that that is 2. And then we write a. OK. Now, at this stage, you can see that we are having 2a plus 3b and 3b plus 2a. Remember, when we are using plus, everything is OK. There is no problem because 2a plus 3b is the same as 3b plus 2a. Let's write that to be having the same order. So we say that we are having 3x into 2a plus 3b plus 4y into, we are not going to write 3b plus 2a, but instead we are going to write 2a plus 3b. We are changing positions, but no need to change this sign. It will remain as plus. No need to change. Reason being, 2a plus 3b is the same as 3b plus 2a. That's why there is no need to change. OK. You see this, and you see this. So that will be the common factor. So we have our final answer as 2a plus 3b into 3x plus 4y. 
That is the final answer. Alternatively, if you don't want to write it like that, you can begin with 3x plus 4y. Still, it has no problem. So 3x plus 4y into 2a plus 3b. OK. There you go. I believe you have understood this. OK. Let's talk about example number three. We are having x squared plus xy minus 3x minus 3y. OK. As usual, we need to group them. So let's have x squared plus x squared plus xy as one group. Now, another group, we have got minus 3x. Now, to group this, once we put brackets there, be careful, this sign will return to become plus 3y. I will explain why. Because we don't need to change the meaning, this is what we have. We have minus 3x minus 3y. We don't want to change the meaning, but we want to change the writing. We need to factor this polynomial, but it doesn't mean that we are changing its value. Now, this, if we have this part, let's say this is minus 3x plus 3y. So you see, minus times 3x, it will be minus 3x. And minus times plus 3y, it will be minus 3y. We have not changed the meaning. It is exactly the same. But should you come and have minus 3x minus 3y, and for you, you come, you don't change the sign. You just come and bring brackets. OK, you put, you know, you put brackets there like this. This changes the meaning because this means minus times 3x minus 3x and minus times minus 3y, it will be plus 3y. It is changing the meaning. This is what you have. You don't have this. So that's why once you put brackets here, you must change this sign. Okay. I hope you understand why I have to change that sign. Okay, now let's factorize. Uh, we are having x and x. So we write it as x into, this is x squared, this is x power one. So we have another x here. So x times x will give us x squared mm -hmm. plus y. We already have x, this one. Okay. Uh, now, we go to blue part. Okay, what is the common factor? Here, the common factor is three. So we go ahead and write it as minus three into x plus y. So at this stage, you see that we are having x plus y and x plus y. So we we write our final answer as x plus y into x minus 3. So that will be our final answer. OK, now we look at the last example. 6xy minus 15y plus 10 minus 4x, okay? Let's group it. This will be 6xy minus 15y, okay? Here we have in common factors in 6 and 15, and also you can see that we have y. Plus 
10 minus 4x. Here, because we have plus, there is no need to change the sign because uh, plus times minus 4x, it will still remain as minus 4x. But if it was minus, we would have changed that sign to plus. Okay, let's go ahead and say that the GCF of 6 and 15 is 3. So we have it as, let me highlight this part also. Uh, 6 and 15, the GCF will be 3. And then also we have Y and Y. So we have it at 3Y into 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Then we have X minus 15 divided by 3, that is 5. Already we have Y, no need to write it again. Plus the GCF of 10 and 4 is 2. Then 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we have that X, we we'll write it. Now, note that we are having 2X minus 5 and 5 minus 2X. Now, these are not the same. We need to change this sign. We need to change this sign from plus to minus, okay? Now we rewrite it as 3y into 2x minus 5 minus 2 into, now we can write it in the same order as this one, 2x minus 5. Okay, and the final answer will become 2x minus 5 into this one. Into 3y minus 2. This will be our final answer. I believe you have understood how to factorize polynomials using the greatest common factor and of course using the distributive property. Now, you go to page nine, you do practice. For now, we are going to stop here and meet again next time.